What's up everybody, it's Ember22 here. Uh, today we're playing Final Fantasy XV, and I had a couple questions uh, from, from you guys that were a you were asking uh, about the different menus and different options, and as far as customization, uh, what you can do. Uh, I do know that in the demo, it's a, a lot different than what will be in the full game. Uh, the customization and um, as far as all that kind of stuff, um, it's, it's really far cut down. And the demo, especially um, as far as gaining levels and stuff that you unlock, uh, you really don't get any of that in the game. You kind of get a sense of how it's going to happen. Uh, but I wanted to explain that to you guys, anyways. So I'll start off with uh, the main uh, start button menu. Um, here you can uh, you can set your destination. So if you see on the map on the right, you can um, uh, that'll be kind of like your obviously it's your map, so it's your guide. Um, you can see. You can choose your quest locations, your outposts, or campgrounds. Uh, campgrounds are where you go to um, eat for the night, which will um, it'll make it morning time. But it also whatever you depending on what you eat, it will give you certain um, good status effects that will last for most of the part of the next day. Um, the outposts are um, just different places like the gas station, uh, which is one of the main uh, spots in this uh, demo, and then the chocobo post, um, which I haven't really had to do anything with yet, um, but it's another like main uh, focal point in this uh, on this demo. Um, and as you can see, um, and then the quest locations. So if you choose one of these, um, you can see okay, Dead Eyes Lair, and on the right side you see what you have to do. So, um, and all you do is pick which one you want. Let's say I wanted to go to the the um, station garage, so I just select that. And if you see on the map at the very very top. Um, you'll see that it's kind of has a square around it or a diamond, I guess, and it's highlighted. And then that blue area right below it um, is where I'm at. Uh, and on the map as well, you can see the yellow exclamation points are like your main quests. Uh, the black ones are the ones that um, are like your side quests. But if you go to, um, like, if you back out the game or if you go to a campsite, those will be those will be like restarted if you haven't. Uh, moved on to the next checkpoint for those. So, like, if I wanted to go to campground, I just choose it on here, and you can see on the map on the right, it switches between them. So next, uh, the option is um, drive. And the demo, you can't drive your car. Your car is actually being worked on right now uh, by Sydney. Uh, so right now, you can't do drive. Um, but I'm assuming in the in the full game, you'll instantly be put into your car, and you can start. Uh, hitting the road. Your inventory just shows you obviously what's in your inventory. You can't use anything here, but so you'll see all your usable stuff like your potions and phoenix downs, and then your edible stuff is what you eat when you go camping. Um, so you can see, like, okay, this is what I have and this is what I'm looking forward to eating and getting these special abilities. Uh, then collectibles uh, in the demo so far, you can't really do anything with them, but I'm assuming they you'll be collecting them to help. Um, upgrade your weapons and your um, some other sort of stat or um, gear that you have. Um, next just to help menu just normal stuff like options and whatnot and then return to the rest point. So a rest point would be anywhere that you camped. Okay and then uh, where most of the questions are coming from would be uh, about your weapons. Uh, here's where you can actually choose to use your potions or your antidotes or your phoenix downs. Uh, you can see on the right side, you can see how much health and um, where everybody's at. Uh, group gear, you can't do anything with yet. And then this last option is is uh, blanked out for right now. But the weapons. Okay, the weapons can be kind of confusing at first. So if you see at the very, very top, you'll see Noctis, so, which is me. And then you'll see my attack is 132 and your defense is 86 and I'm level 16. So that stuff will be automatically updated, at least in the demo. Um, when you go to the campsite and you get your experience points, you'll gain levels. And as you gain levels, your base attack and your base defense gets raised. Uh, just like basically every other Final Fantasy game. Uh, your very first weapon you see, I have tier 12. Um, in the demo, you can't, none of those upgrade or anything like that. You can't even get any different weapons for the demo. You can only um, rearrange them how they are. Now, what may seem kind of confusing at first is you'll be like, okay, well, I have five weapons, and you can't put any new weapons in any slots. So, like, what's the difference? Why even move them or anything like that? Well, if you kind of see, when I highlight the very top one, let's say the Avenger, you'll see 
uh, a little bit over to the right, you'll see where it says Crush, and then Ravage, and then Vanquish, Counter, and Descent as you go down. Um, so basically Crush, as you see right to the right of it, is your initial assault. So with the very first hit that you do on an enemy will be done by that sword. So that would be used as an Avenger. And then as, um, if you keep, you hold square down to keep hitting, um, if you're just going to keep using your normal attacks. Um, so after your initial attack, the main weapon you'll be using just to keep hitting and then hitting and hitting would be your second one, your blood sword. And that's for, if you look all the way to the right, the melee barrage. So you basically just keep uh, hitting them and hitting them and hitting them. And then the next one will be your, hey, this guy's almost dead. Let me get a, a big critical hit. And it automatically will use this one when you get close to killing an enemy. Uh, so that's your lethal, uh, lethal force strike. And so you, the game will know, like, okay, he only has, like, one hit left. If I use this weapon, then it'll probably kill him. And it'll switch to that automatically. Now, while you're in battle, if you hold L1, when somebody attacks you, you know, you kind of dodge out the way. Or if they're running at you and they have the blinking, hey, I'm coming at you thing above their head. Um, if you hold L1, it'll block and then it'll kind of go slow motion for a second and give you the option to counter. If you counter, this is the weapon that will that you'll be using. And it'll do, uh, you know, different, um, it'll do kind of like a different attack. Your last sword um, was the hardest. I was like crushing. If you look all the way, it says crushing blow from from one high. And I was like, what the hell is that? Basically, and I didn't realize this until I played it for probably like an hour and a half, is that you can jump and then swing and hit. And depending on what sword you have there, it'll change like um, the move that you're doing or whatnot. So right now I have this big, I have, I have the really big sword. And so I'll show you this real quick, and then I'll switch it. So basically, right now, if I jump and swing, it'll do that. It'll do this like big blow. So if I go in and change that out, so I'll put like on the Avenger, you know, a little, a smaller sword. If I jump and swing, you can see it does this kind of like swiping hit. Let me get out of these bushes. So it does this swiping hit. If you change it to, let's say, uh, one of the, the, the lance, you jump and swing, you know, do a stab. So they're all different. Um, and I'm assuming as you, in the actual game, when you get uh, different swords and weapons and stuff like that, it'll be a, a lot different um, as you go along. Like the different abilities and that. But that's not all there is to the weapons. So from there... If you look uh, like under where it says blood sword, you'll see it says drain blade. So basically this one, if you look at the bottom, uh, I mean, it's kind of laid out really good. So it's kind of easy to uh, notice what it is. So the blood sword uh, or drain blade, as you see, uh, that's actually an ability. So when you're fighting, you can hit triangle and use an ability. Um, and it uses your MP. That's what uses your MP or one of the things that uses your MP. Uh, if you use drain blade, then you'll um, basically hit them and still health back from them. And as you can also see um, below it, it shows you the effects. So M uh, MP recovery attack, and regeneration, uh, that's what you get with that sword. Uh, with this one, you use full thrust, it kind of does this really big straightforward um, hit. So you want to really make sure they're not going to really move much. And uh, you know, you get better critical hits with that, which is why this is a good finishing blow. Because as you see, you get criticals three. So you have a better chance of getting a, a good critical hit on the very last hit to kill them, wipe them out. And then the lance. Uh, for this one, Dragoon Jump. Basically, you jump high as shit and just come crashing down on uh, any enemy that's right around you. And you do a lot of damage, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, for this one, Tempest. Uh, Tempest is basically, you kind of take a couple steps forward, but as you do that, you're spinning. So you can hit anybody that's kind of in that little range. So it's kind of like a 360 attack, and it's pretty cool. But then there's even a little bit more. So as you can see here, it's kind of, it doesn't really highlight it much. But you can see this, these are the armagers. And you start out with this first one, uh, Questrio. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I probably did it really terrible. But as you can see at the bottom, uh, the different abilities that it unlocks is the warp strike and the warp dodge. So when you're in a battle, if you hold R1 and hit X, you'll lock on and then you hit X and it you basically warp right to an enemy and it hits them instantly. 
warp dodge, you'll hold L1 and hit circle, and it'll do um, like a bigger dodge and, and get, really gets you out of the way. Um, and that's the one you start out with, and it's it's very handy, especially in the beginning, to uh, get close to enemies and just really like lay into them. Now for the second one, this is one that you have to find throughout the map. And if uh, one of our other, uh, one of our other videos, I showed where exactly you get this, and these are uh, this is one of the Phantom Swords, and this one unlocks. You see, it's uh, at the very bottom. Um, the ability is Knight Swords. So you have to have full you have to have your full MP, and then you hit um, L1 and R1 at the same time when you're in battle, and basically that's where it'll do the spinny sword thing. So all of your swords will spin around you, and then you just hold square, and basically he'll automatically warp to an enemy and just start like crushing them, and he does a lot more damage and whatnot, and he like. Uh, he'll automatically dodge and everything and then so basically if you hold on square you're just it's kind of like using your limit breaks it's kind of like a limit break and it's kind of like uh cloud has where um you know he's just swiping with all of the swords so, um like he'll grab one go and swipe uh swipe for you know his finishing move and if, as far as the demo is concerned those are the only two i found i think there is one more in the map um as soon as i find that that video will definitely be going up so it'll be interesting to see what other, uh, I know, you know, there'll be other ways to adjust your people and uh, as far as gaining levels and experience, there will be a lot more that you can do um, with that in the in the full game. But even with these five swords, it is pretty interesting to, um, to kind of swap them out with each other and see um, how good you do in battle. Like with your melee barrage, if you put in like one of the heavy hitters, like this heavy hitter, you know, you may... Um, hit slower but you might do more damage or if you put in um the partisan then you might get a lot more critical hits but it might be a little bit slower you know that kind of thing but right uh, with right now i um this is the initial setup and i just have been keeping it with that but for the most part i use this armager the uh, um with the knight swords so as far as the demo is concerned that's really it um it there's definitely a lot of room for, like, you know, when you go to your camp and you level up, it even says there's no more abilities that you're allowed to get yet in the demo. And there's, like, nothing you're allowed to unlock. But as you gain uh, levels in the demo, you just basically level up your attack and stuff. And it really does has helped. I mean, it's a lot easier to kill a group of enemies now than it was when I first started. Um, and it is pretty quick to level up um, so far. You don't have to worry about... Yeah. Leveling up one person more than the other, they all um, they all gain the same amount of experience. So it's been pretty nice. Uh, so let us know if you have any other questions. Um, we've been putting up a ton of videos for this, so just look through all of them. And we have some even some cool time lapse videos because the graphics in this game are beautiful. Oh, and here comes in a ship. Uh, so I'm about to go kill these guys. Uh, thanks for joining us. Subscribe for more videos upcoming. Uh, we also have Type Zero coming in the next week. So, uh, yeah, leave comments, let us know, and we will see you in the next video.